Hi, my name is Jennifer Perry with My Scrap Room, and I'm also a Close to My Heart consultant. And if you have followed my videos for any length of time, then you know that I have never been in front of the camera. I'm always behind it, and you always see my hands. But for this video, I thought I would try something a little bit different and actually step away and show you the product that I'm taking with me to retreat. Um, I chose now, my retreat's about a month away, I chose now to pack because I just came home from convention. I have a lot of new product coming in and a lot of old product going out and I thought I'm shifting the product, I might as well pack for retreat since I know everything I'm taking is going to be retired by July 31st. Shall we? So, I'm taking, I may have just moved out of camera, I'm sorry. I'm taking three carts, or actually I'm taking two carts, a bucket, a large organizer, and a tabletop organizer. You will notice with the carts, they're just office supply carts that I've put wheels on. These are just simple little wheels that you pick up in any office supply store. When you buy your carts, make sure they have like this type little hole that the wheel could just pop up into. Um, I think I might have paid $2 for the crate. The, the wheels for me came free because they came with a different crate that I didn't want on wheels. So I put both my crates on wheels. And I put them on wheels because I wanted to be able to slide them under the table and get them out of the walkway. For my very first retreat, um, the house that we go to holds 12 ladies. Not counting myself because I didn't have a luggage bag. I didn't have one of those big uh, uh, crop and style XXLs. My best friend had her navigator, so she had one bag. But we counted among 10 ladies, 33 rolling bags. We could not walk. I was so thankful that I had this cart and that bucket. And I had, I had a different caddy. But this cart, that bucket, and a caddy, that's all I took. And the cart was able to stick it under the desk. I had I wasn't blocking any walkways, and I was very very thankful. <clears throat> so, in this first cart, what I have is my Make It From Your Heart Volume One and Volume Two. I have them spiral bound, and basically what it is is. It is a cookbook for scrapbooking. This is where I pull a lot of my inspiration is these type books. So I'm taking my Make It From My Heart with me. I'm taking my trimmer. My blade is over in a different compartment. I'm taking three iris carts. Now what this is doing, I will be finishing 2011. That I took those with me to my first retreat. That is kit based. So it's all kits. I think I have like five kits left. Then I'm done with 2011. And to be quite honest with you, I'm going to force myself to do those first because I'm getting sick of working in 2011. <clears throat> um, so this is going to be 2012, 2013, and I'll show you what's in the other cart. So for 2012, and yes, I am really working in 2012 and 2013 because I stopped working in my favorite albums when my daughter was in high school so that I could start working on her high school albums because my goal was to finish the high school albums before she finished college. I succeeded. I think I finished it about a week after she graduated. I was so happy with myself, but in order to get that done, I couldn't scrapbook high school and family at the same time. I'm not that fast of a scrapbooker. So this is actually marked as 2012 finished layouts. But what I have in it is some photographs, and then I have my photographs. These are random photographs that I just found, but like I have them all partitioned out. So this says 2012 Dallas Convention, so close to my convention. This is a camping trip that we took. This is when we saw a river dance. This is just some different photographs I took around the town that I live in. This is my daughter's 16th birthday. You get the idea. So I have all of the photos and the journaling in this envelope. So all of my journaling is done. Any specialty stickers or specialty memorabilia I have in the bucket. And then on the other side, because I have to scrap out of order sometimes, 
I have some completed layouts already upside down in the bucket so they all stay together. Because my goal is all of this stuff is going to be out on the desk while I work. And then as I complete layouts, I put them in upside down in, the, in here so they stay protected. And then I know when I get home, everything in this bucket goes into the 2012 album. And they're all, all protected, which is why I'm taking some completed layouts with me because I don't want to get them lost. Same thing for 2013. It's the very same bucket. I'm not going to pull that one out. This one here is nothing but partially, uh, partially, completed, partially completed layouts. When I teach a workshop, I do two layouts for myself. I do one for my sister that I send to her. I put them in an album once a year, and then I, or I put them in an album throughout the year, then, then I send it to her for Christmas. And then the other set I put in this container. Why am I taking these? Because I have three years worth of photos to go through. Some of them might work for these completed albums or these completed pages, oh, like that. So what I'm going to do is I will go through the pictures and go, do I have a completed layout or do I have to create the layout? And between these two methods, I should get most of these done. So I should be able to put photos on most of these. If you see, I've got a complete bucket full. And then between creating and being that, I should get quite a few layouts done. I know it's cheating, but I can cheat. In this bucket, this was the original bucket that I took with me. That's where it says retreat layout cart. Um, this iris cart is the couple of kits that I've got left, to be quite honest with you. My first um, retreat, I packed nothing but kits and I became so bored. I, I, I got bored. So I have a little baggie and I can't pull it out because it's stuck at the moment. I have a little baggie of 12 by 12 baggies just in case there's anything I need to corral. I have a 12 by 12 cork piece that goes with my stitching. I have one pack of base pages, just colonial white base pages. And then if you notice, this rack behind me is completely empty because everything is right here. This rack is all of my retired papers that I still want to play with personally. I've already taught with them. They've already been in the catalogs. Close to my heart has already retired them. That means I can play with it personally. So what I did is I took it from here, I put it here. That's why that rack is empty. And then within this rack, not that one, that's just basically scraps. This one. Okay, so within this paper pack, I have any instructions for layouts that I may want to do. I have one of the whatever full paper packs are in here. I have scraps that are in here. And then I went on these zip strips, it lists the colors. And I went through and pulled two sheets for each solid colored cardstock that I need. So for this one, I needed cashmere, glacier, lagoon, sapphire, whisper, and white daisy. And they're all back there. And I just slot them in like that. So for each one of these paper packs, there's a full complement of cardstock in the paper pack, along with everything that goes with that paper pack. And they're all just like that. So hopefully between creating layouts and then you having my already completed layouts, it'll work. Okay, we're going to talk about this guy in just a moment. So we'll set him down. This is one of the close to my heart large organizers. And then here, this is basically my embellishment bucket. These are just some vellum, some little vellum scraps that I take with me. And this front section is all of my favorite ribbons that match the papers that I'm taking. I have just a couple, I have um, one generic, seriously, seriously. There. I have one generic brown and one generic black that are not close to my heart. That are just colors that I like to work with. But this is all close to my heart ribbons that match my close to my heart paper packets that I'm taking. These are my foil tapes, and I'm taking all of my foil tapes because I like working with them. And then I have one each of my shimmer trims. So one of every color that I own, my shimmer trims are back here. And then these are, let me find one that shows you what they are. Oh, 
That's a good one. Okay, so these are the compliments for each paper pack. So it's got the stickers, it's got the sparkles, it's got all the pretties, it's got the die cuts, it's got the, the bling. And this matches each paper pack that I've packed. Now, why is this not in with the paper? Because it adds bulk and I would not be able to get all the paper in this cart. And I still wanted to take my ribbon and I still wanted to take my shimmer trim. So I thought, let's take the large organizer, everything will fit together. I also have extra adhesive in here. I didn't know if theirs would fit, but they did. It fits quite well. This bucket is going to be doing double duty. Its first duty is to hold all of my stitching supplies. Its second duty is to be my footstool. Um, the reason I need a footstool is the tables are a little bit tall, the chairs have to be a little bit taller, my feet go to sleep because I'm so short, so I found that if I just pop it up on this uh, bucket, is it broken? Oh no, it's not broken. Whew. So I gave myself a heart attack there for a second. Um, if I pop my feet up on this bucket, it works great. So in this small organizer, I have every sparkle, enamel, sequins, itty bitty gem, enamel dots, ever made that I still have is in this little bucket. If I open it, it's going to go pew. So I'm not going to open it, but you can see just how full it is. It's very compact. I'm bringing it because I can't live without my sparkles. I have to have them. This is my Yeti cap that I'm going to be taking with me. It will go back and forth with me. I, um, one of the things that I'm known for in my personal scrapbooking is I love to stitch on my layouts. I have the cork board right here that goes in here because it, it was a little bit too tall for this bucket. If you notice the bucket is labeled stitching bucket. This container sits on my desk just like this. It has all of my stitching templates. It has my needles and my threads, my threaders. It has my little tiny tomato. So everything to do with sti uh, stitching is in this bucket. My taller stitching rulers, if I stand them up, they stand up over, but if I lay them down, they lay down. So those are just laying down. And then in here is all of my threads that match the papers. Now you're asking yourself, most of my heart does not sell thread. How did you come by? See, here's all my threads. How did you come by all these threads? Well, Anytime we have a new catalog come out, and I know we've had a color change, I will buy the cardstock swatch, I will take my happy hiney down to the craft store, and I will sit down in front of the DMC embroidery thread and match up each color with each thread. And then I will come home and make little baggies and put not only the name, but the thread number. So that if I'm at a crop or a retreat and I see that I'm running low on a certain color, I can jot down that color or I can make a note in my phone, and next time I'm at Michael's or Lowe's, oh, I've never found any DMC thread at Lowe's. Let me know if you've ever found it there. If I'm at a craft store and I notice, oh, they've got thread on sale, then I'll run over and pick up what I need. And it all fits in this little caddy that I found at a scrapping garage sale quite well. Um, my first crop, I just threw it all in this. I took every color that I owned, I threw it in this buggy. In this buggy. I have had coffee today, I promise. I threw it in this bucket and I, I had thread going everywhere when I needed to find something. So for this trip, I decided to condense it a little better. Um, I am not having to take any type of Cricut, Cuddlebug, drink holder, trash can, because all that is provided. Um, the one item I'm thinking of taking, and I don't know if I will, I'm still on the fence about, is my thin cuts binder. This is one of our everyday life albums and inside it I have our thin cuts. This is the 4 by 6 page protectors. You have to trim the magnet just a little bit to get it to go down in there. But this is all my thin cuts. I made labels to go on them so I know which one goes where. But I'm considering taking this binder. It'll fit right here but I'm still thinking this is the one item I'm on the fence about. I don't know. Close you up and then we'll get to the cabinet. So 
So this caddy right here was offered to consultants this year at convention for purchase and I'm so glad I was talking to purchasing it. The difference between this caddy and one of the ones that are a little bit stiffer is this one folds up flat. So when you take everything out of it, you take all your bits and bobs and stuff out of it, it folds up flat for storage, but it also folds up flat if you're trying to travel with it and need to get it in your suitcase. I was trying to travel to um, an event with some sister friends of mine, some consultant sisters. I wanted to take my tabletop caddy. I couldn't get it in the suitcase because it was that much taller than my suitcase. Irritated? Oh, I've never been so irritated more in my life. So, what I have in here, this is actually going to go in my luggage. This is a back scratcher. But I put it there so I don't forget it. Um, I have some adhesives. So this is just some different adhesives. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. This is, a, it just came in like five minutes ago. It is a precision tip applicator bottle. And the reason I have it, it's got a needle tip on it. The reason I have it is my liquid glass, yes, it's a pill bottle. I store my liquid glass, I don't know if you can see it, I store it upside down so the tip will, the tip, the tip will always stay loaded. But I've had to trim it so much because it has gotten clogged that it won't do fine precision lines anymore. But I still have, oh my, I still have like three quarters of a bottle. I don't want to have to buy a new bottle. So I'm going to pour some in here to do all the precision work with. Hopefully that'll work. I have my reading glasses and I have my, my palette knife to cut washi with. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the label for the precision tip in here in case I like it so much I want to buy another one while I'm gone. I know what it is. And that's going to go in my suitcase. so I'm going to stay in there. Okay. And here I have a little mason jar, and I have a little baggie. In my baggie I have um, extra blades for my trimmer, I have a couple of binder clips, I have a pencil sharpener, and I have some post-it notes. My little mason jar, I have two pair of scissors, large and small, I have a pencil, I have a pokey stick, this is my nail file, hello, that was a bit dusty, sorry guys. This is my nail file that I use for distressing. My X-Acto knife. I have another highlighter. There's one here and one here. I, I like traveling with two. And I have two different sizes of markers. Now I have all of my journaling pens up here. But my markers I just stuck down here. Because I didn't want to stretch out the things, the elastics. So there's right, right there. In this bucket, I have an adhesive remover square, my Tombow, a roll of tape to go with my stitching. It's just that I have one in the bucket, but that's just an extra. I have a foam tape. I have my vellum tape. And then I have different sizes of score tape. We don't sell score tape, but I really wish we did. If we did, I'd buy it for myself, but we don't. All this fits down in here quite nicely. On this side, I have my stamp scrubber. I have, this is our stamp cleaner. This is the Close to My Heart stamp cleaner. I just decanted it, put it in a pink bottle so I know it's mine on the desk. And then this is all of my, my other refills. This was the first way I packed it before I realized that it would fit in the large organizer. Um, and I took them out of the packaging, so I'm having to be very careful not to, not to mess them up. But they slide right there, and then that, and then that. The only inks that I'm taking, because I'm not going to be doing any stamping, are slate, chocolate, and desert sand. And I'm also taking the daubers that go with them. Now, by the time I go on the retreat, these are going to be retired colors. Oops, I let the cat out of the bag. Oops. Okay, as of right now, they're not retired colors, but they will be retired colors. I can't say anything else about that just at the moment. I'll, I'll let you know in a, in a different video, a later video, a sneak video. But anyway, at the time that I'll be going, these will be retired colors. 
They also, the reason I'm taking them is I match all the paper packs here. Therefore, doing my distressing. Okay, so in these little side pockets, I have a lotion, a Burt's Bees, a tiny thing of Advil, and my business cards. I'm not comfortable taking my catalogs with me because I don't think it's an appropriate um, situation to be passing out catalogs, but I'll be happy to pass out a business card. I'm taking some more post notes here, a little bit bigger. And then these are, remember I told you she's, she provides cup holders and trash cans and cuddle bugs and all that stuff. I don't want to mess up her trash bag or her little trash container with wet, sticky substances. So I take and put little doggy bags in the trash can, lined, like you would line your regular trash can. And then when I'm done, I just pull them out and throw away. I buy them when they're on sale. They don't cost me hardly anything. And I think that's the only thing I've got stuffed in the pockets. Oh, I've got an eraser over here that goes with my pencil. And that is it. Let me stack it all back up. So this is all I'm taking with me to my retreat, relieve on, I can be there. The doors open at six o'clock on Thursday morning. I will probably be there by nine o'clock on Thursday morning because I want a full day. And we don't have to check out until Sunday at three. I'm going to try and take some video for you of the retreat space and of the crop space so you can see where we're at and what an awesome house this is. It's Memory Lane in McKinney is where we're going to be. Um, she's not paying me. She doesn't even know I'm doing this video. I, it's just an awesome house for scrapbooking. Um, but until then, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.